Roy, do you think this uh, is a data set that could be extrapolated to even earlier stage disease? And what do we know about uh, adjuvant therapies for earlier stage disease at this point? I wish that they had added in a new biopsy there, you know, and, and taken a biopsy after chemo radiation and compared it to a pre-biopsy to tell us if we really are affecting the immune microenvironment. You know, so one of us should do that quickly if we, you know, finding those data sets is not easy. Um, but as far as adjuvant therapy, yeah, you know, why wouldn't these agents work earlier? Um, the question is, you know, in, in earlier disease, you have, you know, you know, these trials are going to need a large number of patients, more patients. Uh, the recurrent, you know, depending on the stage you take, if you take stage ones, for example, and twos, you know, um, you know it, it will take a lot longer. But yes, uh, you, would, you probably wouldn't want to use radiation in all of those, you know, maybe in, in some, but most of those patients would get chemotherapy. And again, we don't know whether the chemotherapy and or radiation were enhancing here. But yes, I think the trial that's going on, and Ram can probably talk to this better than me, with uh, you know, his group with the Optimist trial, um, with nivolumab uh, as an adjuvant is, is, is great. There are, there are other trials with other drugs. So I certainly think moving these, these agents closer. And then, of course, the neoadjuvant trials that are going on. And, um, you know, because combinations with chemotherapy, you can even make the case in the Pacific, you know, maybe we should do What's a bigger ocean than the Pacific? Is there is there a bigger one? Not that I know. Not on Earth. <laughs> what? Not on Earth. <laughs> no. But um, but you know maybe call it Mars or something. But, <laughs> but you know a trial to have chemo radiation and bring in the IL right away, and and then move on to to what we've seen here uh, would be applicable. But I think all is on the table right now, and you know we think about stage three disease. When I was a fellow, that was really the only the only bright spot you can point to in lung cancer. I know you've done so many trials, Everett, where you could say, yes, we can cure lung cancer. And, you know, at, at five years, I remember at MD Anderson, we'd have survivor parties for our patients, and we didn't fill the room too, 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 too much, but we had patients, you know, I'm sure every one of us has that. And now this is a group where I think adding in the IO can really make a difference. So uh, a, a little bit amplification of this, what you are saying, I was approached uh, recently as uh, as the CEO for ISLC, and someone said, Fred, you need to put survivorship into your programs. Yes. You know, that is something we haven't focused on in lung cancer at all, and uh, how, how uh, timely and how justified is that today? Absolutely, we need to think differently today than uh, than uh, than before and Absolutely. we are fortunate to have survivors these days yes so and and this will hopefully be a further step in that in right. that direction um, I just want to ask uh, Naya and Ram a little bit more about neoadjuvant chemotherapy that that Roy mentioned already um, is is that something that excites you and uh, where where is the field at that at this point Right, so I think it's, it's I think it's in sort of exploration mode. Um, I think I think certainly the um, you know certainly the positive Pacific trial um, supports the premise to move immunotherapy into earlier stages of disease. Um, there really is only small data sets right now. I mean, there's some uh, modest data around giving nivolumab um, preoperatively for two. Um, for two doses that was presented um, at ASCO um, 2017. And what was really pretty remarkable that in, in this very small study, just two doses of nivolumab preoperatively, um, really independent of pdl one status, there was clearly uh, tumor necrosis, T cell infiltration, really major responses path pathologically. And uh, honestly, I wouldn't have predicted that, that extent of um, effect. So, um, you know, neoadjuvant is a space which is um, done at, at various places. Some, for some places, it's it's you know it's considered a standard of care. Um, some places it isn't. Um, we, you know, we tend to give neoadjuvant chemotherapy for for stage three A um, disease that's resectable. Um, we have a trial that's ongoing giving a tezolizumab with chemotherapy um, uh, preoperatively. So I, I think that, um, the potential advantage of giving it neoadjuvantly ad versus adjuvantly is you have tumor on board. So if, if, as you destroy the tumor, you release antigens, you can magnify your T cell response to tumor, um, neoadjuvant. So I think it, I think moving immunotherapy 
uh, preoperatively makes sense. Uh, um, um, you know, so we're we're definitely going to see more of, of that. Um, and and, coming, and you see when it's not working. You see when it's not working. Can I make a comment, Everett? So uh, new advent approach. Uh, there is a has been um, laid down for for many many years in in lung cancer. Some of us have advocated strongly for it, and uh, and uh, a good reason these days is certainly also to learn more about the biology around uh, uh, those treatment, whether it is targeted treatments or it is immunotherapy. And uh, to that end, I would like to say that um, our organization was recently approached by FDA uh, and asked if we are willing to make an, um, a workshop trying to define uh, a response criteria for neoadvent therapy and also trying to kind of uh, standardize uh, trial designs. And, uh, and that uh, is, of course, a result of the increased uh, interest for neoadjuvant uh, treatment approaches. And I think it is very timely to do that. Um, so we will be working with FDA and have a workshop trying to define those things uh, already in the beginning of 2018. And uh, hopefully, you know, by bringing experts to the table, we will be able to come with some recommendations for trial designs and uh, particularly definition of, of endpoints. Excellent. Ram, can I ask you just briefly to uh, describe and comment on, on Alchemist? Sure. The Alchemist is uh, a trial that's being done across the U.S. cooperative groups uh, with the NCI to look at individualized therapy in the adjuvant therapy setting. So the trial enrolls patients with resected non-small cell lung cancer stage 1B, 2, and 3A. We do molecular testing for EGFR and ALK, and if they have the molecular abnormality, they then get randomized to targeted therapy or observation. And in the third arm, uh, we randomize patients who don't have EGFR or ALK to nivolumab versus observation, and the treatment is given for one year. Uh, that trial is, uh, the adjuvant immunotherapy arm is accruing very well. So accrual to the targeted therapies arm is a little slower than what we would like it to be. Uh, but I think uh, as the study progresses, uh, we will have the ability to see if adjuvant immunotherapy, given after you receive the standard adjuvant chemotherapy, will result in better cure rates for patients. So it's really a remarkable uh, large effort, right? And, and we should encourage uh, people to support and participate. And in addition to lung map, it's it's really the the second example of uh, excellent collaboration between the between the cooperative groups.